Good afternoon, guys. <clears throat> I finally made Good it home. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I made it home. Went up to down to Marsha's mama's yesterday. Stayed the night. And uh, got back here just oh, about a half hour ago. Something else. Went to the doctor's yesterday. I had to. It's been a four month checkup. And do the PSA for the. So anyway, it went up uh, two and a half points. They're talking about wanting me to get on uh, pharmaceuticals. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna wait another four months and see what four months bring us. Uh, <laughs> I don't really look forward to that pharmaceutical. They got so many side effects to them. But we looked up some more stuff today, and uh, so we're gonna dive into some more. Uh, natural remedies and see what else we've got. So we'll see. <clears throat> you know, it's all. Uh, you know, I was reading here in the God's in the God's celestial purpose. The purpose solely of God's purpose solely depends entirely upon Himself. And I know that He's working in all of us. He works in those that that are He's called. Uh, for a purpose, right? To to bring all creation back, to uh, reconcile all creation back to Himself through Christ as our head, we're the body that that will accomplish this. And there's nothing outside of His will, you know. God knows the ending from the beginning. This book says, uh, one section says, whenever we think of ourselves as somebody of importance. <laughs> Somebody of importance. Let us remember what God said to Job. Where were you when I formed the earth? Where indeed were we when we were so richly blessed by the this gift of grace we have in Christ Jesus? Where was we when that happened? Yet before any part of creation other than the Son of God's love had come into being. We were in the mind of him who is operating all. He operates it all according to the counsel of his will. The fact that God is operating all according to the counsel of his will will clearly destroy the claim often made that man is able to control his own destiny or the idea that God is continually adjusting his operations to accord it with humans' decisions. We don't control our own destiny. Scripture says that God directs our steps. God's will is paramount, and He is able to operate in whomsoever He wills and in whatsoever way He wills. It's all God's will. Philippians 2.13, He is operating in us to will as well as to work for the sake of His delight. We can't add to our days. We can make them more enjoyable for ourselves. Uh, you know, there's there's things I, I really have no desire to get back into pharmaceuticals. Uh, it's destroyed my, my body, pharmaceutical has. Um... Uh, but through it, you know, God uses that. He, he God uses things, and uh, we've discovered some natural remedies that have been hitting pretty hard. But we're going to get into that. What do you call it? Sour sop. Yeah. Sour sop stuff. The fruit and the fruit is pretty potent. I didn't. I had never heard of it. I'd heard of sour sop tea. Didn't think anything of it. But there's a fruit there also. And then there's something else I was looking at. But I don't remember. We just started looking uh, late last night after I got back from the doctors. Um, I take ivermectin every day. 
and uh, apricot seed. And uh, anyway, uh, we know we'll be here until we're until we're uh, no longer here, <laughs> right? But we got to live our lives the best we can. And uh, he's God has put things on the earth that we that we he put them here. I believe our bodies can heal ourselves with what God has put on the earth. Uh, I believe that. But we're also being attacked by all the stuff that the chemicals and the sprays, uh, all the stuff they put in our foods and alter the food that we have anymore. And that contributes to all kinds of, all types of health diseases, health problems. So anyway, I want to get on here and say hi to y'all. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a regular study. I don't know where we're at. Are we on the last I don't remember either. I think we may be on the last verse of Titus. I'm not sure. I have to. <laughs> I will find out tomorrow, won't we? Anyway, Marcia, you got anything you want to say before I? I love you guys. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Anyway, grace, peace, and much love to all of you. And uh, we'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you then.